At what is now a daily rate, young lives are being extinguished amid unrelenting violence. Today, friends of the latest victim, an 18-year-old, came to the street where he was killed. Israel Ogunsola was given first aid but died at the scene. Friends of the teenager, who was hoping to go to university later this year, told Five News this was the second time he'd been stabbed in recent months. His death moved the number of people killed in London this year to more than 50. And while there have been surges in street violence before, the Tottenham MP David Lammy says this new wave displays a new problem. What is different this time is the age profile of those involved and is the callousness uh, for which they are prepared to kill and the innocents that are dying. That is different to the last time we had um, a, an explosion in numbers and that's why I think it will need a lot of concerted effort to get to grips with this problem. Last night's victim was Facebook friends with the 17-year-old shot dead on Easter Monday. Tanisha Melbourne died in a drive-by shooting. The same night, 16-year-old Aman Shakur became the youngest person to be murdered in London this year. As police and politicians try to work out what has fueled this surge, a former senior investigating officer says there's one major factor. The police have been denuded of resources and they have, to use a phrase, lost the streets. There are not police officers routinely patrolling the streets in London or elsewhere in the country, it's not just a London thing. Um, they're not there and so those that are intent on street crime and street drug dealing and violence, they're not, uh, there's nothing to deter them. But it's even more complex. According to one former gang member who now works for a charity supporting those caught up in gang culture. I've been stabbed in my lip, I've been stabbed, um, I've been stabbed in my ear. I've been bricked, bottled, run over, you name it. Like, that, that don't mean nothing to me. I'm really upset, frustrated. Um, I'm very passionate about this thing because I've lived it. And I'm very angry as well at the same time because I just want change. Um, I want justice, justice to be shown. And it, it's, it, it hurts, you know? It does hurt. The Home Office says its new strategy will put a stronger focus on steering the young away from violence. As sites like this become more and more frequent.